This video is sponsored by Altium Designer. I have recently got a chance to use Altium's design software and I must say I loved it. I made the transition from my current PCB designing software to Altium Designer very quickly. Thanks to their vast library of learning materials and resources. I certainly recommend you to try out Altium Designer. I have left a link to this software in the description below for you. Do try them out. Designing PCBs is a valuable skill to possess. With advanced technology in PCB manufacturing and prototyping, the days we spend time fiddling around breadboards are long gone. You can sit at your desk, design your PCBs and get it delivered to your doorstep. It has become that simple. This is easy, right? But remember, any mistake you make in your design can be really costly. To get rid of these mistakes, I have put together common mistakes in PCB designing you should never do. Number 1. Being impatient in component placements. I have heard many PCB designers saying that time spent on careful placement of components is never wasted. This is very true as the placement highly influences the outcome of your design. The trick is to avoid overlapping of these rubber bands. Adjust the placement until there is less overlap of these rubber bands. Spend enough time with your component placing and your routing will be a lot easier. Number 2. Not considering routing directions. After component placement comes routing. Decide the routing direction of a particular layer before laying your traces and stick to it. For example, in a two layer PCB, route the top layer in horizontal direction and bottom layer in vertical direction. Inconsistent directions can really mess up your design and can make corrections in your design costly and time consuming. Number 3. Narrow high current traces. Do you have the habit of using the same width for all the traces in your design? You don't want to do that. Always consider the maximum current that can flow through the traces in your design. If your particular trace carry high current than other traces in your design, use higher trace width for those traces. This high width traces will ensure proper heat dissipation comparing to traces with low width and prevent failure. Number 4. Not making use of copper pore. Making PCBs is done by etching the unused copper, leaving the traces intact. Copper pore is nothing but using this unused copper for any signal rather than etching it out. It is done by creating spaces for traces and pads for the components. Commonly, it is used for ground signal or power signal. This large surface area of copper pore provides low impedance path for current and it also makes connection lot easier. Number 5. Improper attention to spacing. Most designers leave this aspect to software. Yes, software do a pretty good job in establishing spacing between traces and components. Also, it raises flag when proper spacing is not in place. But Proper spacing takes more effort than this. As a designer, we should be aware of the spacing requirements for our circuit. Even the assembly of components need to be considered right from designing to ensure proper spacing is in place. These are the 5 common PCB designing mistakes you should avoid. There are more of these pitfalls in PCB designing and we will cover that in future videos. For more of these guides, tutorials, circuits and projects, visit our website www.gadgetronics.com. Hit the like button if this video was helpful to you. Do leave your thoughts and feedback in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel for more of these videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.